Hello everybody, this is uh, General Yanis, and today in Death Car Tactics uh, we're looking at the Drukhari and the Coven resurgence, the, um, the ascendancy of power of the Drukhari Coven, super durable and fast, and um, basically how to face uh, the US Open winning list that, uh, that really went hard on Grotesques, the Racks and, and Talos. Uh, so with no further ado, let's uh, look at it. So today, the 10th of, of, of December, uh, lockdowns and restrictions ensuing in, in Denmark, thanks to the Omicron variant of the COVID. And by the way, uh, of course, Omicron being a Greek letter, a Greek word, um, and, and literally the, the Omicron means little o. Uh, and if you have omega, as, as you may know, that's, that's the, la the last letter of the alphabet. Omega means uh, big O. So this indicates that in the ancient times, uh, Omicron was pronounced differently from Omega. Today, in, in current Greek, we pronounce them the same. Uh, and I've heard the problem is that I've heard a lot of people saying Omicron or Omicron or Omicron or something like that. But the correct pronunciation is Omicron. All right, <laughs> let's forget about the, the languages now. Uh, but uh, basically what we have seen with the point increases and, and nerfs to, to ADMEG and ORCs and, and some other corrections, uh, Drukhari have been on the ascendancy uh, in co the competitive lists. Uh, the cult uh, with the witches and uh, the succubus, etc. have been coming more expensive. So the competitive lists have moved towards the covens with the racks, grotesque and the talos. And for example, the talos have even got some point cuts making, making them very strong. Uh, so this is basically a very strong uh, army in the current meta. Uh, so how are we positioned uh, versus uh, this type of Drukhari? Um, the, the winning Drukhari list by, by Manny uh, when we play Death Card 1000 Sons. Uh, so I will be going through the list uh, and, uh, and the basic strategies from this Drukhari. Then I will be looking at the damage output and the durability of this Drukhari, which is one of the strong points. Then I will be looking at how, what Death Card can do against this army, what can Thousand Suns do, and then a summary and final conclusions. And this is probably going to be a pretty lengthy video, but the, the chapters are there. If you're interested in Thousand Suns, you can go there directly. If you are interested in Death Card, you can go there. And finally, summary and final conclusions. Um, and with no further ado, let's get started on this uh, quite, I, I think, quite long video. So uh, let's look at the US Open uh, winning Drukhari list, uh, 2,000 points with two patrols. And I, I watched um, Mani's uh, video uh, on YouTube explaining this list, and it was really an awesome video, very, very nicely done, explaining uh, how this list works and why it works and etc. And when I was watching this, first I was, uh, I, I was really impressed by the, the quality of this list, then I was upset, <laughs> and then I was quite happy. So I'll, I'll get you through this, uh, these feelings uh, here. So basically, we have two patrols, and uh, and uh, both of them are the artists of the flesh. They are covens, and the artists of the flesh means that uh, every time you attack some model in this army that has the, the, the this obsession, excluding vehicles, which there are none in this list, you subtract one from the damage characteristic of that attack to a minimum of one. So basically, it's like Oprah Winfrey. Everyone gets disgusting resilience. And this was, was well, of course, what some of the things that made me um, upset, that basically every, everything is, is doing Death Card's um, uh, durability very well with discussing resilience. And for this Tirukari list, actually, they can do it even better. So let's look at the first patrol. Here we have the Humunculus uh, as the Warlord. He has a relic that uh, can um, speed up how the the power from pain, the the every round the Drukhari just get a better benefit this this can do that uh, it can he can do it a bit faster under some conditions and then he's the master regenesis so he can heal uh, three wounds on something for example a grotesque that would be really grotesque <laughs> to be to be honest um the in the troops here we have three big units of racks so uh, two with 15 and one with 16 and they only have uh, melee weapons and then they have one shooty weapon and we'll get back to the, why this is important that's very that was one of the part i was really impressed about and um, so quite cheap and a lot of a lot of bodies on the table uh, and with a the gun they can do a lot of shenanigans in the elite slot we have five grotesques also melee weapons uh, for Five, five of them, 475 points, very durable and very strong in melee. And then in the heavy support, two big units of three Talos, 
100 points each, so 300 points per unit. They are equipped with um, heat lance, the Ehor, and, and the scalpel. The Ehor makes uh, mortal wounds in, in, in melee. The heat lance is basically a melter that has an 18 inch uh, range, so not so bad. And then the second patrol uh, in this HQ, there is a master succubus uh, with a triptych whip relic and competitive edge warlord trait. And in this video, I will not even go through this model, uh, 95 points, but she can really do, the succubus can really do a lot in, in melee. And then in the troops, we have three uh, five man racks. Uh, one of them has the Aussie factor uh, weapon. Uh, basically, the small units are are more to take the backfield and, and keep some objectives and do some actions. Then we have in the elites uh, five more grotesques, 15 total, and then in the heavy support uh, one more unit of Talos, so two Talos with the same configuration here. So all in all, uh, basically the, the list is uh, racks, grotesques and Talos, and then you have a master succubus uh, on top. So let's look at the list ideas and, the, and the, basically the strong points here. So, so basically the, this list, uh, the, what is really excelling at is high durability. So as we see from artists from Flesh, they all have disgusting resilience in essence, minus one to incoming damage. All the, the racks, the grotesques and the talos, they have a five, feel no pain of uh, five plus, like the old death card resilience. The homunculus, he has an aura giving plus one toughness uh, to, um, to, to Coven core units, which the Talos, the Grotesques, and the, and the Racks are, of course. And they all have 6 plus invo um, from, um, from the Drukari Power from Pain, which becomes 5 plus invo at, uh, at turn 4, where probably it doesn't matter so much. So basically, if they, if they are close to the Humunculus, the Racks become Toughness 5, Grotesque Toughness 6, and the Talos uh, Toughness 7. So you have some very high... Um, high toughness uh, troops or, or units with uh, minus one damage and five plus funeral pain, which we all were discussing on Death Guard, uh, would be wildly, <laughs> wildly too much. Of course, Drukari can get it, but Death Guard, we do not get it. So basically, they, they are doing the Death Guard durability part better than, than our Death Guard can do. I mean, imagine also our Plague Marines, they are toughness five, they have the damage minus one, but they don't have an invo and they don't have the feel no pain. All right. On top of the high durability, uh, they are also fast. Uh, in Drukari, uh, basically, they can advance and charge uh, from, from turn two. Um, and um, and that, that means that, for example, the racks could, could move seven inch plus D6 and make a charge roll. The grotesques can also do advancing and charging, etc. Uh, this, of course, is very strong for a very strong melee uh, army like the Drukari are. The Osso Factor uh, weapon, uh, being an assault weapon, allows the racks to shoot and then they can move again uh, with the stratagem. So the stratagem never stationary requires a unit after it has shot. That's why uh, it's important to get one weapon. So it doesn't matter what damage this weapon does, but after that, you just basically can use the never stationary stratagem so that you can move again a normal move up to seven inches. So basically the racks could go seven inches plus D6, so advancing, shooting with the weapon because it's an assault weapon, and then moving again, normal move up to seven inches. So basically you have around uh, here 18 inches to grab objectives. They are objective secure, and as we will see, they are very durable. They cannot charge while doing the, this, this, um, um, this stratagem, though. Uh, so high durability, fast, and then they also have a high melee damage output. The racks, they have um, two attacks each. Uh, they have poison weapons on four pluses, so basically they don't care about the opponent's uh, toughness. They always wound on a, on a four plus. Uh, the grotesque, uh, the talos, and the racks uh, can reroll all to wound with the torturous craft stratagem. Um, so it allows them to, to do a lot of extra damage, and they have multiple attacks. And you will see the, the damage when they can get reroll all to wounds. It's costing one command point. Um, at, if it's racks beneath 10, 10 models, it costs one command point or two. Uh, if it's. Um, if it's um, uh, yeah, so so uh, the and then the Talos with the Ehor they can do mortal wounds in melee. 
uh, and then from power from pain old drukari will be hitting on two pluses from turn three in melee and with the relic maybe this can happen on turn two and then um, a six uh, sixes to wound give better ap so lots of lots of attacks uh, mortal wounds from the talos possibility to reroll all the wounds uh, hitting on two pluses uh, so basically hitting on two pluses and then rerolling all to wound uh, can make for a crazy high damage output in melee so um, of course the, the strategy from using this list as, as we have seen they, they can move and steal objectives uh, they have durable cheap objective secure with the racks they can move a lot with his shenanigans uh, and they can um, they can take and hold objectives they can beat up the enemy in melee if the enemy comes after them they can they can also go after the enemy and and, and hit them hard in melee everything in the list is is very durable and hard to kill and you need to investing a lot uh, and this list is good at trading up um, so so it's not easy to let's say remove 15 of these racks um, by shooting and, and doing a lot of stuff uh, they also do secondary as well they can do quickly engage on all fronts because it's a fast fast army they can do the actions uh, with with uh, troops in the back line, retrieving data, raising banners, uh, etc. To the last is also strong for this list. Uh, they, they have the three big units of Talos, and it's not easy, as we will see, to take out uh, these uh, Talos. So let's look at this melee damage output we were talking about. This is unbuffed. Uh, here we're assuming that these units are hitting on a 3+, plus and they don't have any reroll, so we hit here we have the big unit of 15 racks or the five grotesques or the three talos um, and here is the actual damage expected not point corrected across a variety of targets here are the general Yanis 31 targets here we have death card targets and here we have some, some thousand suns uh, targets so um, the racks uh, starting with the racks the blue line uh, they basically ignore toughness they can do the same to a gladiator uh, ras uh, uh, damage as as to battle sisters uh, for example here uh, or 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 our death guard uh, for example the the plague burst scroller or 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 something like marines or or demon prince or something like that they they basically do the same damage regardless of the of the toughness uh, the the four thousand suns the rubrics and the scarabs they uh, they are better protected because they, they have damage one way attacks coming from them so they are saving uh, quite well so we can see uh, the racks cannot do super much versus them especially the the scarab terminators they are not they are not so strong at dealing damage against those the three talos the gray line uh, this includes the mortal wounds from their ehor injector uh, so this, this equivalents to four mortal wounds uh, here. So we can see um, they can do, for example, two, uh, they can do a lot of wounds, for example, to our Black Lord Terminators. Uh, so here we can see seven wounds. So basically two Terminators gone. If, if the three Talos fight against our Death Shroud, we lose two Death Shroud on average due to the mortal wounds and the damage that is, that is coming. The grotesques, the grotesques. Uh, with a lot of damage to output they have high damage especially versus marine something like intercessors or something like rubric marines uh, basically they can take out a unit of seven seven intercessors or seven um, seven rubrics um, also they can do a lot of damage to to the scarab terminators not so efficient versus uh, versus death card uh, the grotesque because we have the minus uh, one to the incoming damage but still, they can still kill one one Terminator uh, in in melee, and this is uh, keep in mind uh, with with no uh, rerolls or other buffs to this melee damage output. So all in all, all these units can do a lot of damage, even not buffed, and they can easily come into melee, uh, being able to advance and and charge. Now, uh, if we are if we are uh, in the in the turn where they can start hitting on two pluses and if one of the, if these units use the reroll all two wound strat then the damage uh, is greatly improved so hitting on two pluses and uh, using the strat to reroll all two wound uh, really turns uh, the, the heat on and, and a lot of, of damage output so for example the grotesques five grotesque attacking an imperial knight will be able to do 15 wounds on average and this is for 175 points uh, <laughs> unit. Uh, here, intercessors, you will be killing, let's say, 12 intercessors or 
you wipe out a, a huge unit of rubric marines or something like that. Um, uh, the in for for the death shroud uh, uh, for 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 example our terminators they will be only killing let's say two so death card is again a bit protected from the from the grotesques uh, the talos uh, can take out three three terminators uh, with with uh, with the rerolls and on all this uh, or four scarab terminators and their racks uh, they they can do with 15 racks. Uh, re-rolling uh, all to wound and hitting on two pluses will be able to do 10 wounds on a plague Rush crawler so if you if they can if you allow them to come and and, and target your your vehicles it will not be a, a fun game let's say so uh, just uh, looking and comparing these damage output figures to some other um, melee damage units uh, so here we have a table basically unbuffed uh, melee damage versus the general gun is 31 targets per 100 points so this is point corrected so we see grotesques and racks per point uh, are are quite high to close to the 30 glotron with the mower or a demon prince with a hellforge sword and no relics uh, etc you have something like pox walkers or jungle rays here we have terminators blight lords uh, and plague marines with knives etc uh, so they they are starting from a very high uh, damage output per 100 points um, the things are be are stronger for example death shroud terminators uh, and and chaos spawn for death guard are uh, having a higher uh, damage output but the damage output is uh, is very good per point to begin with and as we said with uh, getting plus one to hit and re-rolling wounds they can make even almost double the damage uh, the grotesque and the racks and 50 percent more damage for the the talos the plus one to hit that they will get automatically and no need to pay for the strat still allows them to do a lot of a lot of damage so good baseline damage output and significant improvements available and easily accessible buff the plus one to hit will come uh, in the battle round the reroll wounds it's it's a strat they can they can easily use looking at the durability which was also one of the of the strong points here I'm assuming, but they're close to the homunculus, so they have uh, the buff toughness and they have the minus one incoming damage from Artists of Flesh. And here I'm, I'm only assuming they are, have the six plus invul save. Uh, here we see uh, what damage, what type of shots it takes to take out one of these units. So, for example, to kill one rack, it would still take uh, eight bolter shots. So if we have, let's say, uh, for four plague marines <laughs> rapid firing their their bolter they they would kill one rack for eight points so <laughs> it's really a bad a really bad uh, it's it's it costs a lot to to shoot basically the they only have a six plus uh, save so it doesn't matter the ap doesn't doesn't matter so much versus the racks and the grotesque it's more a volume of fire and the strength that is important rather than the the ap uh, something like heavy bolters or blight launchers they they don't they don't help a lot with the discussion resilience but the, of course the strength being higher than the toughness uh, helps uh, here we see the grotesques uh, take a lot of of shooting to kill they have four wounds as well so it's not easy to take out one model worth 35 points here uh, they can take let's say 20 blight launcher saw shots or 16 plasma plasma guns uh, etc they are they go up to this toughness six so a lot of the anti-infantry weapons are not very effective uh, against them here we can compare uh, some other units uh, what it takes to kill the plague marine a blight lord terminator pox walkers rubrics uh, the changors occult terminators and basically down here is if i if i take the average of what it takes to kill one unit and then i point correct it we see that uh, that it would take 69 shots on average of these weapons um to kill uh, to kill 100 points of racks and this is basically as high or even a little bit higher than the blight lord terminator so basically with this buff uh, and the feel no pain and the, the minus one to incoming damage they are really 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 strong and very durable and it's the first time i've seen something that has been as durable as as blight lord terminators the grotesque are even better here so they have even higher uh, durability versus the the normal let's say anti-infantry weapons uh, so the the problem is that <laughs> that it, it seems like grotesques it would probably need some heavy weaponry to go down 
uh, or a very high volume of shots to take out, for example, the, the Volkites. Uh, but uh, yeah, so really durable for their points uh, when they are buffed uh, with the toughness of the homunculus. And if we look at the Talos then, um, the Talos, a monster or a vehicle here, I'm comparing it to, to some vehicles. Uh, again, minus one to incoming damage, three plus save, six plus uh, invul. Doesn't have a good invul, but but with the minus one incoming damage and the feel of pain, and and the seven wounds uh, and being buffed to toughness seven, it's nothing uh, easy to to play with. Again, here we are more looking at the the high damage weapons here, entropy cannons, uh, things with a profile with the uh, AP AP three four and the D three plus three damage is really good. But even if you hit with one entropy cannon, you let's say on average will be doing five wounds. This is reduced by one down to four, and then you have four rolls of feel no pains, high, quite high, um, quite high uh, success rate to at least say one, and then you have uh, basically only three wounds on 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 the talos uh, taken. Um, so and again, if we take um, this is what it takes, let's say to kill one one model of 400 points. If we take the average of these shots of this, uh, let's say, a bit higher weapons here, they will need 13 of the of these um, these weapons, and this is very comparable to the Plague Burst Crawler. And again, the first time uh, I've seen, I've calculated this for for various uh, units. First time I've seen something that is equal or a little bit better uh, per per hundred points than the Plague Burst Crawler, which is basically one of the strongest, toughest um, units on on the table. So you need consistent high damage. D3 plus 3, but even, even so, as I said with the calculations here, you, if, if, if your opponent gets normal rolls and you don't get crazy high uh, D3 plus 3, etc., uh, it, it's not going to be, it, it will need uh, three, three, four uh, entropy cannon shots to be, uh, that goes through and do damage before it is, uh, it is killed, let's say. So uh, this was um, the the background here. So we have concluded that they can they are very durable, al almost equally or or more durable even than than death card equivalents, and they are fast and they can do a lot in in melee. But I think what what made me quite quite positive uh, after the video, as I said, uh, I was a bit upset that they can they can get all the the resilience and the and the, and the death card buffs <laughs> that should be. Death card only, let's say. Uh, but I think, uh, in my opinion, I think Death Card are quite well positioned to face this type of list uh, compared to other armies. And I, I in general, I'm more uh, concerned when I have to face armies that have very high uh, shooting or very high psychic or a combination of shooting and, and psychic, for example, like Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, the, the Grey Knights or Thousand Suns. Uh, it's, it's difficult for us to counter the psychic and the very high shooting. Um, I'm not so concerned facing melee armies with death card because me melee and durability is also our strong points. Uh, on top, we have the death card contagion, uh, bringing down toughness, and this uh, would, uh, when we can apply it on the on the melee oriented drukari here, they will be brought down to their normal toughness. If the humunculus is not nearby, they will be even further down and then the durability is not is not as good if we get the, the racks down to toughness three uh, or the grotesque down to toughness uh, toughness four for example then uh, then we are there we are we, we can wound efficiently with our, with our weapons uh, foul blight spawn uh, versus any melee army foul blight spawn is really a central uh, unit we, we take the stench relics allowing us to fight first uh, and death card units, as I said, very strong in melee themselves. If we can fight first, we could kill a lot of rags. We should be able to take a couple of grotesques out, and then they they can do less damage on us if they if they can come because they have the advance uh, and and charge. If we don't have the foul blight spawn, if they fight first, they can still put a lot of damage on us. And and yeah, they trade well. A 35 point grotesques uh, can can kill, uh, let's say, a, a, a more expensive terminator. And the racks also, as I said, they can kill also very high. They can make very high damage for their points. Um, death card, uh, we have the discussing resilience, so we are quite well protected from the damage too from the grotesques. 
but the poison weapon of the racks bypass our toughness as we saw for example our plague scrollers or our demon engines are not very well protected from the racks uh, discussing resilience doesn't help and basically they ignore our, our high toughness so uh, the, the drukari uh, will be going for board control they are faster than us uh, so they will be going to grab objectives but we need to thin the ranks out uh, as soon as possible and ourselves come into melee and contest uh, the objectives so looking at uh, what what can we do uh, versus the racks uh, if we look at the uh, typical units uh, for shooting uh, from long range uh, for the big racks uh, where we have blast and the, uh, the, we then the mortar from the playground scroller can be quite good and here we see the the contemptor a buffed contemptor with a toll keeper relic and reroll should be able to kill six racks uh, so it's not it's not very easy to to kill a lot of them you cannot take 15 out just by shooting with a volkite contemptor uh, they have also protection from the mortal wounds with a five plus if we don't have the the buff we only let's say kill four of them the plague Bear scroller uh, having the blast and and the mortar stratagem to uh, reduce the likelihood they will save the field of pains will be killing four from a distance so again it's not it's not very efficient to use a 175 point model and a command point to kill 32 points of the enemy so it's not easy to um, to kill a lot of, of racks uh, from distance but you can of course start chipping away um so all in all no, nothing super fantastic the defiler could also do maybe kill a lot, some uh, some of them uh, from from distance um uh, yeah uh, if we come to the medium range 12 inches the plague crawler uh, with the speeders uh, is is a good weapon uh, should be able to kill seven seven racks so the, the speeders are a good weapon against against them a lot of attacks uh, damage one uh, just trying to get it uh, get a lot of force them to take a lot of healing pains uh, basically the shroud gauntlets so the furtive blood run with the speeders maybe a couple of, of racks more and then if we go in melee uh, of course here we will have the minus one toughness in effect uh, if we have uh, the, the death shroud with the scything profile here we have five of those they should be able to take out a whole unit of 15 racks in one go uh, mortarian uh, with with his ripping profile is only able to take out 11 so not very efficient to use mortarian to clear out uh, racks melee plague marines uh, blight lords uh, 10 blight lords with the bolters and the axe etc uh, can take out 9 10 so we can our our infantry can do uh, quite a lot with the racks but again the racks are so cheap so we are basically losing a, <laughs> using a lot of points to take out eight point models here spawn uh, then we have the 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 pox walkers they can only take out three and a half basically four racks if we use this the strat to do mortal wounds without the rerolls uh, we will be doing four and a half uh, mortal wounds on top we will also be taking some mortal wounds here but we, we should be able to take quite a lot with with the pox walkers uh, the demon prince or something like that uh, not 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 super efficient uh, a swinging a big damage three sword uh, is, is not super efficient versus the racks the fertile blood run with the mower uh, not super efficient damage two weapon being down to damage one even if it has 12 attacks uh, only let's say expected to kill three and a half here so in general it's it's it seems like it's like an expensive shooting expensive shooting to take them out the mortar strat maybe we can kill some uh, backline units forcing them not to make the retrieve nachmun data or something like that the plague Bear scroller with speeders is an interesting alternative for shorter range uh, and then in melee we can we can do we can do something with our infantry the death shroud um, with multi-attacks uh, like every flail should be able to take out two racks so not yeah not super fantastic but at least something and as i said the, the mower not very efficient but we should be able to chip away on these uh, racks uh, that will be objective secure and contesting uh, the, obje the objectives if we look at what we could do uh, versus the grotesques the grotesques have have a very high wound count as well four wounds each and here uh, we are struggling more with the shooting uh, the long distance uh, shooting if we use the plague scroller uh, with the entropy cannons the slugger and the mortar with the stratagem so we can go up to damage two 
uh, we, we should be able to kill, with one plague or scroller, we should be able to kill one uh, grotesque. <laughs> so, so again, 175 points shooting, killing 35 points, not super efficient, but taking one out could, could mean uh, something in the long run. The Contemptor is not as good here uh, versus the Racks. They can also, a buffed Contemptor should be able to kill one, one grotesque, and then not so efficient shooting. Uh, at, at shorter range, again, the speeders are not as good as they were against the racks. Maybe we can take one more grotesque in short range. And then if we go in melee, uh, here, uh, Mortarion uh, leads the way. If you have him with the eviscerating profile, he should be able to kill three and a half uh, death, uh, grotesque. Still not enough to wipe a complete unit out. The Death Shroud are better with their multi-attack profile. Damage 2 doesn't help. Um, melee plague marines can do something, blight lords, uh, the defiler could do something, etc. But again, maybe we can take one, two um, grotesques out. The poxwalkers do the same damage in wounds versus the racks as the grotesques. So that's that's quite good to maybe use it to take out these more expensive wounds, let's say. So it's not easy to take out uh, many buff grotesques. Uh, the pox walkers, uh, they could be point efficient if we use the strat and we basically tarp it them. And uh, yeah, of course, the grotesque can kill quite a lot of grotesque uh, pox walkers, but better than they are killing uh, our terminators. Uh, when we go into melee with the grotesques, I think it's important to have uh, as many here. I haven't included uh, rerolls and, and, and other things here. If we can get rerolls, if we can get the arch contaminator, if we add buffs for our terminators and marines. It could make uh, it, it will increase our damage. So arch contaminator, trench fighter with the knives, plus one to wound stratagem, even if it's a, a expensive with two command points, or if if we can kill one two more grotesques before they can attack us, it will make a, a big difference. So remember, try to fight first, have the five blood spawn uh, in melee protecting us to fight first, and then use buffs and try to do overkill because nothing is really just wiping them out. Finally, uh, looking at Death Guard versus the Talos. Um, so one, one thing that, that struck me was the, the Contemptor with the Volkais is really inefficient versus the Talos. Uh, so basically, um, yeah, a damage two weapon with strength six, shooting at the toughness seven thing with a three plus save and five plus feel no pain, you would only do half a wound or one wound uh, on the Talos. So don't waste uh, the Contemptor Volkites shooting at the Talos, shoot at the Grotesques or shoot at the Racks to, to clear them out. The Talos is a, a bit wasting the, the Volkites. This surprised me uh, a bit. The Plague Bear Scroller uh, is the best shooty option we have with the Entropy Cannons and the Slugger. Remember the Mortar Strat again to do damage two instead of damage one, let's say with the Mortar. Um, so that can do something, but again, if we if we have two plague burst crawlers shooting at it, everything we should be able to take one Talos out. That's something at least. That's 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 hundred points out of the table. Um, the the mephitic blight holder at melta range also can help. Um, so meltas at, at half range or the entropy cannons are the best profiles we have. In in melee, uh, Mortarion uh, is, is strongest here. Uh, if we have Mortarion, he can use his strong profile. Don't use the multi attacks here. The D3 plus 3 profile is good against the Talos. He should be able to kill two of them. Uh, so really good for for our, our Primarch. And then uh, in the Plague Marine, the melee Plague Marines, the Death Shroud, uh, Defiler possessed uh, as much buff as possible, should be able to maybe take one more uh, out in, in melee. But again, not very easy to shoot them and not very easy to take them out. So summarizing the Death Guard ways of, of handling uh, Manis, Drukari, Coven army, uh, as we have seen from the numbers, it's not like we are going to be shooting them and then they just go away <laughs> very quickly. Uh, I think uh, we have to expect a very long and grinding uh, experience here, a war. But this is also the type of attrition that Death Guard is good at. Um, we have to use our advantage in shooting as much as possible, contemptors with Volkites, taking out grotesques, taking, reducing, thinning the, ra the ranks of the racks, the plague scrollers with the entropy cannon, maybe in the, in the Talos, uh, etc. As I said, foul blights form very important, fighting first, killing something, 
reducing the incoming attacks, buff as much as possible the melee uh, and, and, and do what Death Card uh, is doing best, being also durable, doing a lot of damage. Try to do that before your opponent does the damage to you. If we can take out the Humunculus, will will would greatly help reducing the toughness barrier let's say then we will be bringing the, the units back to some more normal durability uh, or focus your shooting and actions where homunculus is not uh, buffing your opponents that that could do of course help as i said plague scholar entropy cannons probably best to focus those on the talos or the grotesque and remember the mortar strat the Contemptor of all kites are better used on the Grotesques or to thin out a big unit of racks. Uh, trading up, if possible, not very easy against these units, but the Poxwalkers using the Mortal Wound strat on the Grotesques. Screen with the Poxwalkers, it's better than a couple of Poxwalkers are dead than our Blight Lords. Uh, Mortarion uh, should go after the Talos with the Eviscerating Blow. Uh, the Death Shroud uh, use those multi attacks versus the Grotesques and the racks. They should be doing quite quite well against there. Uh, Gloaming Bloat uh, would help us uh, to shut down the Drukari rerolls in melee. So Mortarion's Anvil allowing us also to do heroic interventions and stuff like that, which would be quite, quite good. Uh, watch out for our characters in melee. If we if you charge, let's say, Typhus or a Demon Prince in the in the in five man grotesque, maybe you kill one, and then those four will be very, uh, very, uh, very dangerous for your for your character. Uh, bolter fire, um, the, the smaller weapons probably best used on the racks. If you can have them under contagion of minus one toughness, the Reaper auto cannon is better than the blight launcher. Should be at least thinning out a little bit, not very efficiently, but thinning out. But I think this type of of, of battle I would like to have. With my <laughs> with my death card, and hopefully utilizing this knowledge, it should, the the tide should be turning after maybe the initial very fast uh, movements of 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 Drukari, maybe getting ahead on primaries, maybe death card here inexorably coming forward and and taking the fight to the Drukari to, uh, for hopefully uh, a win. Now shifting the attention to the Thousand Suns, um, what uh, the Thousand Suns uh, facing uh, the Coven uh, Drukari of, of Mani. So basic ideas here is Thousand Suns are of course more vulnerable to a fast melee threat um, that the, this Drukari army poses uh, compared to the Death Guard. Uh, the, the, the Thousand Suns are not very well protected versus damage to weapons in melee. Um, the, the unwavering phalanx is used in the shooting phase, so it doesn't help in the melee phase, unfortunately. Thousand Suns are better shooting uh, from the infantry uh, with high AP than Death Guard, but this uh, AP doesn't really help versus the Rask, Racks and Grotesque. They only have 6 plus saves. Uh, Infernal Master uh, ability to give plus 1 strength is really important here. Uh, because it can help um, bringing this we, with a thousand sounds we can't reduce the toughness of the drukari but we can increase the strength of our bolters so that could really help uh, plus one strength to the range for warp flamers and, and bolters and hellfire missiles and everything uh, would benefit um, so i think this is an important buff the orrery uh, is really important, uh, the relic. Um, so ignoring the damage reduction um, for one unit at a time uh, that they get from the Artists of Flesh is very important. And then you can maybe f focus your attention on taking out one unit of grotesques, uh, shooting multi-damage weapon to that or something like that. Um, that, that. That can be uh, really a key also to use the orrery in a, in a good fashion. The biggest advantage of the Thousand Suns versus this Drukari list is that basically is the psychic powers in the psychic phase. So here there is no psychic uh, anything in this Drukari list. So basically the Thousand Suns can, with no denies, they can do whatever they want uh, in the psychic phase unopposed and be able to deal mortal wounds. But remember that the Drukari have the 5 plus feel no pain. Uh, still, a lot of mortal wounds will inevitably go through and do something, but it's not as efficient as if it was, a, let's say, a guard, a guard's army or something like that, or marines for that sake. So the five plus feel no pain, give them good defense, passive defense, but still the mortal wounds should be able to go through. Um, the Thousand Suns 
uh, can dance around a bit better than uh, are faster than Death Guard uh, instead of going head on in the melee. So, for example, the Cult with Duplicity uh, could be teleporting around where where there are exposed Drukari units, if possible, uh, trying to shoot them, trying to yeah take some exposed flanks and something like that instead of going forward in an all-in. Uh, let's say, a head-on charge like Death Guard can, can do or must do. <laughs> so uh, looking at the, some damage output from uh, Thousand Suns unit versus the, the infantry, if we look at the racks, uh, here we have a variety of, of Thousand Suns. Here, uh, here we see uh, a Contemptor uh, with the Volkites and buffed will be killing five racks. So again, not super, super impressive. Um, the Scarab Terminators with plus one strength to the Bolters should be killing four. That could be helpful, uh, you know, but um, the, the best shooting here is, the, is uh, let's say, a unit of 10 Rubric Marines with warp, fl warp Flamers. If they get the plus one strength, they will be killing nine racks. So being able to more maybe forward deploy, if you know you go first, to be able to flame a big unit of racks or, or Cult of Duplicity going behind them, warp flaming them that should uh, hurt uh, quite considerably here in melee um, nothing super strong to kill a lot of racks so you see only maybe two three here and there uh, the molar fiend can do the most damage with the lashers uh, etc but still it's not super uh, it's not super strong so going going after them like death card could do with death shroud it's not it's not really a, a strong option uh, for the for the thousand suns versus the racks, uh, basically flamers and the plus strength and the contemptor are the best options. If we look at uh, the grotesques, uh, the shooting um, is is a bit limited here, not not as good uh, with the volkites as we had with uh, with the racks here. We can also give it plus one strength, and we will be come up to this to this level. Uh, the warp flamer still still can do something. Auto hitting uh, the molar fiend can actually kill two in melee again 70 points <laughs> taken out uh, but nothing nothing super good uh, versus the grotesques in this um, in this configuration here but here uh, if we can focus uh, to use the order relic uh, pointing out a grotesque unit then the contemptors will be buffed then they will be able to kill two uh, grotesques from from uh, from distance uh, then that their damage is not reduced to damage one so this uh, this could this could help. Um, so this is probably the best use of the Volkite Contemptors co together with the Oru Relic. Try to shoot the, the Grotesques here. Um, a little bit more damage from the Terminators and a little bit more in melee, but but nothing um, nothing nothing super strong. Uh, so Grotesques very difficult to deal with, and Oru uh, would be helping the Contemptor with the Volkites, killing two uh, Grotesques in melee. With the orrery, the scarabs would be able to kill one, so five scarabs killing only one grotesque with the orrery relic. So not nothing, not not very easy to deal with uh, with the grotesques at least. Then finally, looking at the talos, talos is is really really, really tough to to face um, uh, for for the drukari shooting wise. Uh, not very easy to do uh, so much. Uh, basically, the warp flamers can do a little bit. The molar fiend can can kill one in melee, uh, one Talos, but not very e efficient shooting. As we saw with Death Guard, uh, the Volkites are really not good against the Talos. Uh, so it's better to focus the psychic powers and, and mortal wounds on the Talos. Um, Volkites plus the Oru Relic will do three wounds to the Talos, but still it's probably better to, to go after the Grotesques with uh, the Volkites. Uh, looking at the, the strong point of the Thousand Suns, the Psychic Powers, uh, here uh, we are assuming that we can do uh, unopposed uh, smites, doom bolts, etc., various um, uh, witch fires. Here uh, we have plus one to cast as the, as the Thousand Suns, but the five, uh, the, this is the expected damage uh, after five uh, plus field on pain has been applied. Here I'm taking account that every time you cast a smite, you need a higher. Uh, to higher warp charge to succeed. So if I if we do this, we should be dealing 11 mortal wounds per psychic phase. 
So that would be uh, able to, if we can target the Talos, we can take one Talos uh, plus one or one grotesque almost. Uh, if we have the mutilate vortex beast, we should be able to add one, three mortal wounds on top of this. So we should be able to do, let's say, 13 mortal wounds, uh, something like that, uh, with the, uh, together in, in one phase. So not as, as high as some of versus some other armies, but we should be able, if, if we can target the Talos, that would be the, the, the best thing. Otherwise, probably it's better to do the grotesques. If the Drukhari uh, screen with the racks, yeah, then we have to do that. But it would be good uh, to try to take out the Talos because there are not so many good options, either in shooting or, or melee. Uh, the psychic phase also is important to protect the units, uh, giving them glamour of change, four plus involve saves, reviving and healing terminators, uh, buffing the shooting. Uh, so everything is needed to 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 buff our, our units here. Uh, and then one uh, interesting uh, spell uh, malediction for uh, versus the big units of Rax is the desecration of worlds. So it's quite fun here. Um, one enemy within 24 inches. Uh, every time they do a normal move or advance or fall back or charge, uh, you roll a d6 for every model in that unit, and for each six, that unit suffers one mortal wound. So if you apply this on a 24-inch uh, rack a unit, um, and then this, if they if they do advance and then they they do the shenanigans moving again and they do, let's say a charge, then you will be rolling three times for mortal wounds. That at least would be fun and and kill. Uh, quite quite few racks uh, here. So remember the desecration of worlds. Finally, uh, summarizing the Thousand Suns tactic. Um, uh, Thousand Suns, uh, you don't want to get bogged down in a melee uh, attrition war. Uh, when the Talos come close, when all these grotesques, etc. come close, they will be killing you at a faster rate than you can kill them back. So try avoiding going into melee with important units. Uh, the molar fin can maybe do hold a bit his own he can kill two grotesques etc etc uh, probably it's important to screen units you don't want to have charged with the changors or cultist chaffs and, and then have your psychers protected and then they can move around uh, they can do the psychic at least a couple of things before they they have to be engaged in melee it's important to boost the shooting with plus one strength Use the orrery for, for the contemptors to shoot the grotesques, and the rubric flamers uh, is the best option if you can teleport them around and just flame racks. That that will that, that that's really uh, the most efficient to, thing to kill the racks in this in the thousand suns. The psychic powers, of course, are a must to succeed. Uh, trying to take out the talos primarily, if you can, grotesques secondary. Um, it should be able to be dishing out 10, 12 mortal wounds, and eventually it will take its toll, but it's not as efficient as for many other armies. Uh, try to dance around if possible, go for the objectives, play the game, uh, threatening the weak spot, as I said, teleporting, uh, doing, doing things like that. But it's going to be difficult if you have to, if they, when they crash into your lines, uh, things, things are going to be a bit more, more tough. So, uh, reaching to the summary and the final thoughts, uh, first of all, a very impressive list by Manny to, and uh, winning the US Open final this year. So very, very big kudos uh, for this very strong list and uh, also his very nice video. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Maybe I'll add the link uh, here in the description. I, I really enjoyed uh, reading, uh, hearing his opinion about his army. Uh, it shows that the Drukhari Coven are really durable. Uh, this list can play the game very well. Uh, they are basically almost more durable than Death Card and definitely faster. And they are a very big threat in melee versus uh, most armies. So a very strong list and a very big threat for most of the armies in the game. For Death Card, uh, I think Death Guard, we are in a good position versus this army compared to basically any other army. We are not as vulnerable to the Drukhari melee as the other armies. And we have the Foul Blight spawn and we have strong melee units ourselves allowing us to fight first. That could be a very big deal. Uh, the Contagion reduces the durability uh, from the Coven, uh, taking it down a notch. Uh, the Entropy Cannons and the Mortars and melee with multitude of attacks should be able to take their toll and basically you the idea, I think, here is like trying to fight first, buffs, 
um, trying to just go into this war of attrition where the death card durability, the death card melee damage output is pitted against the same strong point from the Drukari with the help of contagions, with the help of better shooting, being able to fight first, apply as much buffs as possible, I think it should be possible to uh, to get the win versus uh, this this uh, opponent. For the Thousand Suns, it's not exactly the same. Thousand Suns are a bit vulnerable in melee. They don't have the same abilities in melee as Death Guard have. Uh, therefore, the shooting becomes more important, utilizing the orrery, especially uh, buffing the the Contempt of Volkites versus the Grotesques, uh, using the Flamers, uh, Rubrics versus the Racks, uh, buff as much as possible with the shooting with spells and a plus one strength. Uh, the, the, the Talos is, is a problem unit, not easy to damage it by shooting. Uh, in melee, the Molarfin can do something, but not very easy to, to do a lot of damage to the Talos. Uh, the Psychic, the psychic uh, should be should be used also, of course. A big weapon uh, should be able to to dish out, let's say, 10 plus mortal wounds per turn. Try to focus on the Talos if possible and the grotesques, and leave the 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 racks to the shooting and and the other units. Try as much as possible to avoid being in melee. Uh, use the screens, dancing around, flying around, <laughs> exposed flanks and stuff like that. Whittle down the Drukari as much as possible. Use or revives and heals with the cult of time. So this concludes the, the rather lengthy video, but I, I had uh, basically used the, the whole day today to do all this analysis and all the math, and I've learned a lot by doing so. So I, I feel I will quite prepared to face this Drukari army if I play with Death Card or Thousand Suns. Please let me know what you think about this analysis, what you think about this army, and let me know if you have faced uh, the Coven uh, so far on the tabletop. And uh, and with these words, General Yan is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.